Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate Cohen's D for effect size and we're going to do this for a one sample test, a Z test, uh, and we're going to learn how to do this by hand. So before we go on ahead and look at Cohen's D, let's take a look at the uh, sample data set that we're using in this experiment. As let's assume that we are conducting a quality control test in a, a manufacturing plant that makes uh, bags of food which weigh uh, 1,000. So the claim on the, the weight that's on the bag of food will be 1,000 grams or one kilogram. And I have taken some samples. I've got 14 sample bags up here. I've weighed them with an accurate weights measure. And these are the results recorded here. So I'm looking to see uh, with this sample is the manufacturing process in or out of control. In other words, is it making uh, bags of food at 1000 1, grams or is there a difference? So let's set out a hypothesis. So our null hypothesis is that the mu, the population mean, is equal to 1000 grams. That's the weight that we want them to be. And our alternative hypothesis is that mu, the population mean, is not equal to 1000 grams. Now, in this case, we would hope not to reject the null hypothesis because we would want the experiment to show that the population mean is 1000 grams. I'm going to conduct this test at an alpha value of 0 0.05. And we've already worked out in this experiment here, the uh, sample mean uh, X bar is 996.21. So that's an early indication that we could be having issues here. The uh, sample mean is less than the population mean. Um, S, the sample standard deviation is worked out at 5.65. And when we take a look at the, um, um, when we use these figures now to c calculate the Z statistic for this, for the one sample test, or we could also use a T test here for a one, a one sample T test. The Z stat works out at minus 2.51. Um, the uh, video for showing you how to uh, calculate the Z statistic should be showing up now on your screen as a suggested video. So a Z stat of minus 2.51 is falls into the reject region. It's less than our Z critical value of minus 1.645, we get that value from our alpha value. So our Z stat is less than our Z crit, therefore we reject the null hypothesis. So we're rejecting the statement up here that the population mean is equal to 1000 and in favor of the alternative hypothesis that the population mean is not equal to 1000. So it would appear here that the new manufacturing process is having an effect on the weights of the, of the bags of food. So, but that's a very binary decision. We, it either, it, there is an effect or there isn't an effect. And what we want to now know, since we found that there's a significant difference, now that we've found an effect, is how big is this effect? And that's where Cohen's D for effect size comes in. Here's the formula for calculating Cohen's D. And um, while it's a relatively straightforward formula, we need to be a little bit careful with it. First off, um, um, it's equal to X bar minus mu. So X bar is already calculated here of 996.21 minus mu, which is the population mean of 1000. And we divide that by sigma, which is the population standard deviation. Now, in our case here, we don't have the population standard deviation, but we do have the sample standard deviation. And that will give us an unbiased estimate of what the population is. So it's OK to substitute the sample standard deviation into our formula here. So let's go ahead and do that. That's equal to 996.21 minus 1000. And that's divided by 5.65. So let's work that out. So 996.21 minus 1000. That's equal to minus 3.79. And then that's divided by 5.65. And that gives us a value here of minus 0 0.67. We just take two decimal places there. Now, what does this value mean? <clears throat> so our, we're going to ignore the, the sign here. So we want to know what the figure of 0 0.67, that's a measure, that's the Cohen's D for effect size, but what does it mean? Now, Cohen's D is named after Jacob Cohen, uh, who in 1988 came up with a rule of thumb for values of D. So a small effect was a value of D of around about 0, 0.2. So note that this is a, ca a case where you have found a significant difference in your test, but the difference is not very big. It's not a meaningful difference. So there's no meaningful effect there. Values of D of 0 0.5 are regarded as a medium effect and values of 0 0.8 or larger are regarded as a large effect. Now we can see that our value here falls in between the medium and large effect. It's a little bit closer to the large effect, but not quite large. So we can conclude here uh, that Cohen's D of value of 0 0.67 uh, tells us that there is a meaningful effect here. It's greater than a medium effect, not quite a large effect, but it's still a meaningful effect. So in that case, 
Um, what I'd like to do is go back to my manufacturing process and perhaps maybe I need to recalibrate a machine or rework it or take more sampling. Uh, we have found a difference and we have found that it is a meaningful difference. So that's how you calculate Cohen's D for effect size. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.